Hello kitty. Oh, oh kitty. So what's up? Let's go get the mail. I have just I was upstairs watching the uh, TGS podcast. That's on the game station's main channel. They get a total biscuit. Uh, Dodger and Jesse Cox. They'll get on there and let's talk for like three hours. And I I really like watching it because uh, I like what they have to say usually. And I was when I was watching this latest episode, they were talking about E3. Ah, oh, E3. It was, it's, E3 sucks. E3 has sucked for a little while, in my opinion. Anyway, <laughs> Jesse Cox was talking about Nintendo and how they haven't been relevant for like five years. And I completely agree with that. Everybody else in the podcast is like, no, 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 they got the dance games. They're still relevant. They sell so many copies. Who gives a flip? <laughs> I worked at GameStop when, like, I think Just Dance 3 came out, I guess. Was it? I think 4 is out now. But anyway, everybody that bought the Wii and the dance games were like, you know, mothers and daughters that don't play games ever. They just say, it's a dance game. Let's get it and dance. And so they buy, they buy it. And they, you know, play it for, like, a few times, maybe. They play it a few times, and then they never mess with it again. I've had my Wii. I got a Wii when it came out. And I haven't played that thing. I haven't even plugged that thing up. I don't even know where it is for, like, the last three years. Maybe longer than that. I think the last game I actually bought for it was Brawl. And Brawl is okay. It's, it's kind of... It's, Brawl had things wrong with it, too. Like, the whole... You can, trip sometimes when you dash. I was like, what, what, why? Why would you even just keep it like Melee? Melee was freaking perfect. It wasn't exactly perfect, but it's freaking good. But, Nintendo, in my opinion, Nintendo now is like, oh, they're, they're like trying to be, you know, Apple of, of video games. They want to be the first and, you know, go against everything. And, but all their games are like freaking, is that Wasp Nest? Who is that? No. I don't think it is. Anyway, they're like the little... There's no mail. Oh, there was no mail yesterday either. What the heck? Why don't I get mail? Huh. Maybe somebody's already got it. Anyway, like the little gimmick games like Carnival or whatever where you like push buttons and, you know, it's just... I don't know. It's, nobody wants to get up and wiggle the sticks all over the place. Like I played... I played the Zelda game, Twilight Princess, and like after the first 15 minutes, I was tired of freaking flicking my wrist to swing the sword. I mean, I had it figured out to where I could just like barely, barely move it, like as little movement as possible to get stuff done. And then you had to like have the left stick. Is this right for you? I don't know. I think it's backwards. I had like this is my left hand. I had to have the left stick and like push it forward to do the shield thing, and it wouldn't ever work half the time. You had to like flick it 50 times to get it to do anything. I think it was a boss where you had to like parry stuff with the shield maybe and he was just hard because the freaking controls wouldn't work right but then they got the you know the Wii Plus controller or whatever and then Skyward Sword came out so it's easier to do but it still sucked I don't care about slashing my sword I remember like Red Steel when it was coming out like you know you're a samurai with a sword and you can get guns and it's gonna be awesome and that game was so bad because it wouldn't work <laughs> right half the time Ah, and now they're going to come out with the big iPad controllers and, you know, they'll do well, they'll do well, they're Nintendo, they got big games that people always, they got, they have, you know, a handful of different, like, series that come out that sell systems by themselves, uh, so they'll do well, but then uh, Microsoft and Sony, they'll bring their systems out, they'll probably kick the pants right off Nintendo. Again, Nintendo hang in there with their handhelds. And we'll do it all over again. It looks like. It looks like it's going to take two systems for them to figure out to stop. Just stop. Or maybe they won't ever. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. If, like, maybe they're like, their numbers, their sales for the year are always awesome because of dance games and things like that. And how this so much cheaper than the other systems because there's nothing special about it. <sighs> Nintendo's has been letting me down. I grew up on Nintendo. The NES, the Super Nintendo. I didn't get a 64. Actually, like the 64 is where they kind of started going kind of downhill. It was still a good system. had really good games on it. 
that's when they started, that's when they got behind, I think. That's when they first, when somebody first pulled ahead of them because they didn't want to go, they didn't want to go the CD route. Sony went with the CDs. It had load times, but they could do so much more with like the environment and things like that. And that was always crazy too because like Mario, Banjo Kazooie on the 64 were like in just big 3D worlds that, you know, no, no load time, but apparently you could just do more with the CDs. Which is cool. That's cool. I had a, I got a, that's when I went to PlayStation after that. So I guess the Super Nintendo was like the Nintendo king. They, Nintendo probably has like money just sitting around everywhere just from the Super Nintendo. That thing was so freaking fantastic. <sighs> you know, so simple. Sprites. Oh, man. I miss the day of sprites. Now everything's like 3D. It all has to look beautiful for anybody who even wants to play it. Usually the games are so easy. Like the, they tell you where to go. It's like, hey, go here. And you go over there. Okay, now shoot this. You shoot it. You win. Yay. I spent $60 for eight hours of you telling me exactly what to do. Thanks. I feel ripped off. I also remember when they first, I worked at GameStop when they first started upping the prices because they were 50 bucks and then they started doing like the special editions of games, you know? Like special edition Madden. I was like one of the first ones, I think. Collector's edition this and that. And then eventually the prices went up. $10 more. It still blows my mind that I remember spending like Final Fantasy VII came out. Final Fantasy VII was like my all-time favorite game because I was like, I think 13, I guess, when I played it. You know, the games you play when you're younger mean a lot more to you. You know, you're like, wow, this game is great. And now compared to all the new stuff, if you just, the first time you played it, it would suck. But since, you know, it had such an impact on my impactful brain, <laughs> is that even a word? It's like the best game ever to me. It still is. And that game, I'm like 35 bucks I spent on that game. But it had been out for a while. It came out and it was 50 bucks. And now you can buy it on PSN for like 10. I think 10. Maybe 15. Either way, it's... I remember Mario All-Star. Or not Mario All-Stars. Mario RPG. That game stayed like maybe at $60. 50 or 60 on the Super Nintendo. And it stayed that price forever. I got a copy of that. But I think I got it for free. I think somebody at GameStop was trying to trade in the Super Nintendo games. And they didn't take them. Like, we don't take those. Sorry. They're like, well, here, I don't want them. Take them. And I was like, sweet. And looked in there. Mario RPG. Mine. <laughs> uh, it's like the best game ever. Best game ever. There you go, swimming. Look at that pool. I haven't been swimming yet. There's a bunch of leaves in the pool. Last week, because it's raining like crazy. Oh, I got to... I gotta go play frisbee today too. I need to record. It's been kind of cool upstairs, so I think I'm just gonna go up there and record some more. Did I have this shirt on yesterday? I think I did. I haven't had my shower today yet. Shut up. <laughs> I didn't have not been anywhere yet. I smell fantastic. My hair's a little. My hair is a little greasy, isn't it? I need to go take a shower before I start recording. I do believe. Did I have this on yesterday? Or did I wash it? put it back I don't know anyway so <laughs> that's it that's my rant and rave about Nintendo and how I hate them and they, need, they could be so much more they have all the games they need to be fantastic they just need to get off the freaking gimmicks make it easy for third party game th third party developers to make games on them so that, oh, we got to make the controller be able to do motion uh, let's just put it on the Xbox it's controllers that's easy kitty 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 you ready to say bye, kitty? Whoa!